Today I'm going to show you how to do a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel in the air fryer. And um, I know pretty much everybody's already done this in the air fryer. Just wanted to show you my way of doing it. We all kind of do it a little bit different. I'm going to be using uh, turkey eggs today. Okay, I'm going to be using my 12 quart Cook's Essentials air fryer. And I'm going to set it at 464 degrees for 10 minutes to start with. Okay, it's been nine minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it, and I'm going to put it back in for another five minutes or so, maybe longer, maybe ten minutes total. This bacon's a little bit thicker, so it may take a full 20 minutes to cook to get the crispiness that I want. Okay, it only took four more minutes to get it to this crispiness. I'm just going to place it on a paper towel to drain. Okay, I'm going to take the rack out first. And then I'm going to take the pan out and I'm going to drain the grease into a measuring cup. Okay, I drained the grease out and I'm going to take two little Pyrex dishes and I'm going to pour a little bit of grease in each one. Just want to kind of coat it. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be using turkey eggs today. They taste similar to chicken eggs. They just have a harder shell, and they're a little bit larger, of course. The shell's really hard, and it's usually hard to crack without getting some shells in there. But And usually I break the yolk, but uh, it don't matter with this type of recipe because I'm going to break the yolk anyways. So you really got to kind of dig into it to get it to peel back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just break the yolk. They have a really thick yolk. Just helps it cook more evenly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper them. Okay, I'm just going to place them on the top rack. And I'm going to leave it at the 464. And pretty much everything I put on 10 minutes and I check it or either I add time to it. So I'm going to just go ahead and stick with that 10 minutes at 464 to begin with. Okay, it's been 5 minutes and they're cooking real well. I'm going to go ahead and take the bagel. I just like to try to find a bagel that don't have too large of a hole in the middle. That way my cheese don't fall through. That's important. I'm going to go ahead and stick them on there. And let it finish up and let it get toasted. Now, you can put whatever you want to on your bagel. If I have bacon grease, I hate to... Not going to lie to you, but I do put bacon grease on the bagel too. It's not the healthiest thing, so you can use butter or you don't even have to put anything on there at all. It's up to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in for the remaining five minutes or less, depending on how long it needs to cook. Okay, now sometimes I'll just let it cook on one side, but I also like to flip them. So I'm going to try to do that and see if it'll flip easy. That way it cooks evenly on both sides. I'm going to try to where you can see it. So you just flip it, that way both sides get evenly cooked. Now if you like your yellows um, runny, then you wouldn't need to do that. But if you want them cooked well, then you can flip it. It's up to you. And they flip real easy as long as you grease the, uh, the bowls. bagels start getting a little crispy that's when you want to go ahead and add the cheese you do whatever type of cheese you like this is Colby Jack and of course as you can tell I like cheese and bacon so just put as little or as much as you like on there okay when I flipped it I forgot to go ahead and season the other side. You don't want one side of seasoning. Just a little salt and pepper. Okay, they're almost done. I'm going to let the cheese melt just a little bit longer. Just a minute or so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the eggs out. Okay, now the egg will come out real easy. Just want to let it sit there for a minute if you want some of the grease to drain off. I like to put the egg down first. I 
and then the bacon real simple and the other egg and then you can't forget the cheesy top bun bagel I said bun bagel all right and there you have it. Thanks a lot. Mom again.